Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for another Jeep video. I think this one's number 63. We're gonna put the engine in. This is gonna be a long video. So, um, if you like the video, find it useful, please hit that like button. Um, you wanna see more videos, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna find out when the videos are released, hit that bell, which is the alert button. It'll send you an email when I release a new video. Uh, you want to see the other Jeep videos related to this build of a salvage vehicle that was totaled out by a major insurance company, but it's actually quite repairable. Check out Jeep Build. I'm not going to tell you who the insurance company was. I'm just going to say that they would have used all Mopar parts and I used common sense. So, you know, it's going to be a pain in the ass to put this engine in. It's going to take me tonight. I don't think I'll get it done tonight, but I hope to get it done tomorrow. I may or may not get one of my friends to come help me. I like to do shit myself. I kind of get cranky with people um, when they're helping me and it's not going smoothly. So, uh, I was originally kind of humming along on Brown Dog. These, these motor mounts are Brown Dog motor mounts. Really beautiful motor mounts. And I was kind of humming along on their instructions, which said to assemble them and put them together um, and put it on. And you know what? That's just not going to work. Um, and I don't think they were thinking of my situation where I've got the engine out of the vehicle. It requires origami and meditation skills to put this engine in without fighting with the fucking engine mounts. Because it's wedged up against the back, it's gotta connect to the transmission and be aligned, and then it's gotta sit down on these motor mounts. Ain't no way in fucking hell you can do that with the motor mounts on. So the first order of business today is to take off the piece that attaches to the frame. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, one of the headaches of this project is um, that, uh, let's see what size this is, three quarter, all right. Um, it's kind of have to figure shit out as I go. And that just kind of comes with the territory, so not a really big deal. Where the hell the three-quarter inch wrench is? I've got everything but three-quarter inch. So I've got 400 wrenches in here. Surely there's a three-quarter inch wrench. There's one. I, I must own five sets of wrenches, and it covers everything except the wrench that I'm looking for. Welcome to my universe. And yeah, that's a half inch. So let's get the biggie boy out. Let's see if this one's going to work. Or, yeah. So time for a new pair, a new set of, a new toolbox. All right, so I'm going to take these uh, off and um, I'm sure I'll regret this later, but I don't see, these have a stud mounted in them. Okay, 
So we're going to just thumb this back together. Hope we don't fuck anything up. So the problem is that there's a, a bolt welded onto here. And so being able to precision align the engine and drop this down like this. Not going to be real easy. And you know what? This is not looking like it's going to be a lot of fun anyway, so we'll fuck with that later. So let me do the other side. Um, shit. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see anything useful over there, so you'll just have to kind of roll with it. And this is really going to be the part where it returns to being a pain in the ass to work on. I'm standing on this little library stand and it is very easy for it to move when you don't have all your weight on it. So as I lean over here it wants to roll out from under my foot that's not in the Jeep. So I don't think these are side specific, but I'm going to treat them like they are. Pretty sure I see, yeah, I think the other one's bent, but we'll deal with it when we deal with it. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to pull the engine forward again because I gotta fish all this wiring out from behind here. That, that's gotta be dealt with sooner than later. So we might as well deal with it now. This thing can't just fucking pull forward, it's beyond me. For some reason, the whole stand is like leaning to one side. Who was doing this last night? Alright, now yeah, that'll work. So 
So I want to zip tie it out of, or not zip tie, that would work too. But I want to get that to stay up out of my way while I work on this. I'm not ready for those to come down. Where the fuck did those go? Um, I had some bungee cords. I don't know where the hell they went. Like I said, this is not gonna be a quick, um, ain't nothing about this that's probably gonna be quick. All right, here's a bungee cord. <clears throat> Tell you what, having the fender off is certainly making this easier. And the goal here is just to strap this up out of the way so it won't fall behind the engine as I maneuver the engine in place. All right, so we need another one. And fortunately we have one more. Boy, I'm thinking about this one. I'm really thinking about it. with it though if I can avoid it so I'm just gonna bungee well fuck you I was gonna bungee cord this But it had other ideas. So now I've bungee corded the wires, the wiring harness out of the engine. Next, what I need to do is I need to get down underneath. Uh, what, what did these go to? I think these went to this. Yeah, it sure <laughs> looks like it. Where was the third one then? I don't know what the hell these plugs went to. I ain't shit on the engine for this. All right, well, you know what? They just go out of the way. That's where they go right now. I'll deal with them later. In keeping with my, you get a zip tie, or you get a bungee cord, I get a bungee cord. Everybody gets a bungee cord. I feel like Oprah. doesn't really matter where that goes I'm just keeping it up out of the engine swing area so that it doesn't get smashed all right let's waste another set of gloves and it really there's only one thing left to do and that's to go under there and deal with the engine I mean the transmission got to get the transmission right now I've got it jacked up it doesn't really matter if you guys can see it or not so Right now the transmission is wedged up against the tunnel and it's got to come down. So that's what I'm going to work on. All right. Ah, son of a bitch. There's dust and dirt and shit down here that I didn't sweep up. Let me deal with that because I don't feel like crawling in it. Thought well, I had it all swept up and then I pushed shining a bright light under here. that will not be the last time that I sweep under there. All right. So, I don't like that either. So one of the things I need to do is I need to figure out where um, 
there's an index mark on the torque converter. So we're just going to go ahead and turn that straight down. Trying to figure out where to support the transmission. I'm trying not to support it by the pan, even though that really looks like it is where it needs to be. So there's four bolt holes on the torque converter and yeah, of course not. This one's indexed, and one of these bolt holes is indexed too, and I, I don't know which one it is yet. All right, so this has been tied up for a year, which is pretty impressive, actually. So we're going to start the process of untying it. Well, I guess with a piece of plywood, the pan is going to have to do. Um, so let me slither out of here and find a piece of plywood. spiders. I don't like them around me. And you know, I am a licensed exterminator, so this ain't a good place to be if you're a spider. So the idea is that this will spread out the load on the bottom of the transmission and that will make it okay. And pretty much that's what just happened. So I think that's about the right spot. It looks low to me. Um, I'm going to leave the strap in as a safety measure so that if something happens to my jack, my transmission doesn't fall. But I think that's about right. So the next thing that needs to happen is the engine needs to move back and down, but this needs to be greased. So let me put on some different gloves. 
and put some grease in there. y'all that this is not going to be a fast process. So it says well greased. I don't know what well greased means to Chrysler, but I know what it means to me. So I'm using Super Lube. It's my favorite grease and it's really good for things like this like greasing a knob and we're just going to grease it up and shove the engine that is y'all dirty fuckers i know that's what y'all were thinking some of y'all were not thinking all right this uh, engine stand's got to move so we'll be back in a minute all right sorry that's not the best view um i'm gonna try and pull the engine I'm going to try and shift the center balance here on this engine um so ideally I want to put this someplace that can take the load and I've decided that the alternator bracket can take the load because it's one of the places that you would mount the um Let's see, you know what, that's not going to work. Let's go the other direction. So this is one of the places you would use if you were stripping the engine before you put it in or took it out. And of course, I'm not doing that because that's just not how I've ever pulled engines. But I know that this bolt can handle it, and I'm not going to lift the whole engine by this, this attachment point. So I'm reasonably confident that I can use this to shift the balance of the engine without breaking anything. There we go. All right, so uh, I don't like it putting pressure on that. So let me undo that. reasonably confident that the heater tube is not set up to take any kind of pressure whatsoever. So I like that spot. I don't like that react. I don't like the result. So I'm going to see if I can put that on the valve cover instead. I, I think, I mean, I don't think we're talking about a massive amount of weight here. Right? And I think the valve cover can handle it. So let me show you guys what I'm doing, because I, I, you know, this is I'm not the only one who goes, yeah, I'm not taking the fucking engine apart to put it in or take it out. So I'm not doing an engine build. So what I'm doing is I'm hooking underneath there. And so that captures the bolt between the bracket and the block. And I think that's a strong point, all right? I don't think I'm going to have any issues there. And then, See what part my focus looks like. Alright, so then I just bring this up and catch the fucking cable on the camera for a complete clusterfuck appearance. Um, now I'm just bringing this up, and all I'm doing is putting it there and just 
adding some pressure. And the fucking heater tube's in the way. God damn it, Jeep. Why does it have to be so fucking hard to do everything on this vehicle? Mm. All right, so that ain't gonna work. I, I just don't wanna put a lot of pressure on that tube because I really don't think it can handle it. I, I, don't, I don't see it. Let me um, scrounge around. this is but I think that will work I just I, I want to take the pressure off the um, tubing for the heater assembly although I'm not sure it's gonna get to the heater assembly at this point so this bypasses this and puts it against the block, and that, that's fine. So then I can use this to transfer some of the load on the engine and basically level the engine by pulling the center and the front over, because that's the problem is it's I'm lifting from the right side. So at this point, I feel like it's kind of level. I'm going to check it. Um, because this is going to make or break all right so that's a little not quite level but that's okay we're really at this point we're really close so and I think I'd rather have it a little high on this side um, because I can always adjust this son of a bitch god damn it why is everything in the fucking way on this project all right so we're gonna have to undo that because we will absolutely need that and this is why we check all this shit so yeah we're gonna move to another spot in the same neighborhood so the pull the hook out and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around to the back side and this gets me clear of this and I'm gonna go to the bottom of that and I'm gonna use the same piece of metal I'm gonna twist this so it's out of my way because that surely won't hold I don't know why that won't twist really shouldn't be a big deal to twist this there we go we'll get that out of the way i'll show you guys what i attached to here it's it's basically the back of the alternator bracket on the side of the frame I think that's right again I'm, I'm counting on some things changing now I don't even have a clue what this bracket is for actually I don't even know when I need that bracket so let's get it out of there
Yeah, we're, we're clear of it, so we won't even need that. Um, and I think it's just some random piece of tooling that's in my workshop. All right. Well, I don't like that, because that means it has the ability to shift. want this higher anyway. Well, we're certainly not going to come that far forward. So I guess maybe it doesn't matter if it's here. I just don't trust this Chinese Harbor Freight piece of shit. So let's see how level... That's good enough. So that, that gives us the ability to tilt the engine ever so slightly. So this way brings it to me, the other way pushes it away from me. Um, and I actually think it needs to be tilted a little bit. deal with that right now. I think we can move in a little. And probably down some. That looks pretty good. Actually, it looks pretty darn good. It's not in the right spot, and this has to shift back. And 
we have a vacuum tube that shouldn't be down there. So let's fish that out. So the issue we're going to run into with the brown dog mounts, one of them's going to have to come off. I mean, there's just no two ways around it. And I'd, I'd rather it was not the driver's side, but it looks like that's actually the one that's easier to take off. Um, and if I don't do it, I'm going to have clearance issues. So the problem is that the engine's got to come down and then slide back. And there ain't no way. So the only thing that makes sense to me is to pull one, maybe both, brown dog mounts out of my way and then put them back on. And I, I mean, it's going to suck ass. I mean, there's just no way around it. So that's probably what has to happen. So there's one of them. And the other one's metric. It's very frustrating because, like, you know, it didn't take that long to put them on, but, you know, it did take time. And this is going to be particularly difficult. Fucking really. So, uh, I guess I'm just going to pull it back out to get to him because I, it. That's the only thing that makes any sense, is to go ahead and just pick the engine up. Make sure I'm not catching on anything. Probably not a good idea to be under it while I'm lifting it, but you know. Working on vehicles is dangerous, so that's what it is. All right, let's see if we can get I don't think that's it. 15. Sixteenths. You know, I think I'm going to cheat. Or at least I'm going to try.
It's worth noting that these had a lot of Loctite. So they are especially difficult. Um, I want to mark the uh, bolt that's not like the others so I know where to put it. a short bolt. I need a longer extension here. What you can't see me doing off camera is putting the bolts back where they go so that I don't have to think through this later. All right, so let's move to the other side and see what that has in store for us. It's going to be difficult. That's what it has in store for us. I do feel like this would have been easier with this other fender out, but um, four bolts, four bolts, what's holding it up here, nothing. So it's really all riding on this back piece here. So there's like eight bolts that are holding this in. And it's been out before. Hmm. Now what does it take to get these out? Entertain. So. Oh, okay, what the hell? 
hell is this? All right. Yeah, that ain't coming out. I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way. So the issue here is we need access to these and I, I really need a second set of hands to hold this. So let me see what I can find in the shop to be my hands. Bungee cord would be nice. Uh, that's a purple rope. Maybe this will do it. What inappropriate location can we tie it to? Yeah, this looks good. Let's see if that gets us where we want to go. I'm holding my breath. But it did improve the access. did. Let me set this where it will be in a safe place. There looks good. 
Okay, so now that we have removed the obstacles, we can return to our regularly unscheduled show. I'm gonna back you guys up. All right, so uh, first things first, let's get rid of the pretty purple rope. So, I feel like we have a significantly improved opportunity to slide into the appropriate location. And the stud has been greased on the converter. The uh, transmission is entirely too low, but that's all right. Because we can pick the Jeep up with the engine. this point bring it towards me a little bit and then come down a little bit in a little bit. We're pretty damn close. Down just a smidge. In just a smidge. So I need to come down about half an inch. really close. I'm going to move the camera back where you guys can actually see what I'm finagling. Okay, so I'm going to come down just a smidge. That looked like more than a smidge, so we'll come back up a smidge. Of course, 
course the spot that I was using now is the cameras in it all right so I'm gonna look at the other side real quick to see where I'm at can't see a goddamn thing think I need to rotate the nose of the engine down a little bit and then I need to lower it down a little bit and this is kind of how you align an engine one hole in so let me look at the other side and see how close it looks pretty damn close so at this point what's going to happen is I'm going to start putting bolts in and we ain't over yet the fat lady ain't even opened her fucking mouth so don't be thinking oh wow that looks easy I should do what jackass does yeah, and I'm feeling lucky right now. You know, my goal at this point is just to make the two damn things together. Nothing more and a whole lot nothing less. <clears throat> A special bit of pride in doing shit that other people say you can't do by yourself. Right now I have a pubic hair fucking thread started, and that ain't enough. Have the hand strength to go any further, and it sure as fuck in 11 sixteenths. All right, Mitriki, where are you at? All right, you're over there, so that means yeah. So. side so we'll just leave it over there fuck these goddamn spline bolts that go on the top So what we want to do is draw in, I'm going to get a ratchet because I don't, with the gloves on, I don't have the finger strength. I don't have the finger strength without the gloves on, but I, I just don't have the finger strength. Yay, kitty, 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 kitty. That's right. Put some fingers. Yeah. I don't give a shit if y'all know I'm crazy. man a beast is man has tools and beast doesn't know any better
files and we want to bring those in because they transfer the load from the block to the transmission bell housing. So, got one in, it's tighter than I really would like. So now I've got to work on the other side. Alright, so we're over here on the passenger side where the camera is probably going to be completely in my goddamn fucking way. Yeah, cussy cuss. Um, so the engine needs to come back, at which point it should swing on to this dowel. And in order to help that process, why is there a stick underneath this one? Hmm, okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna put a bolt in. Cause it looks really, really close right now. Oh, it is. <clears throat> Shit, I might just pull it back in. It, it's not close enough to thread, but what this will do It'll stop. Uh, it'll stop it from moving and it lets me push the engine back. So at this point, I need a flashy light. Where the fuck it's at. Um, Alright, well, let me work on the bolt. <clears throat> so we're in on that side more than we are on this side. So that means this side needs to, the engine needs to come towards the passenger side. Not a problem. That's interesting. The jack is no longer back here. Hmm, wonder why. Hey, well, let's pick it up a little bit from the other side. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
these to stay out of the way. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the other one out just a little bit because I want I want some more wiggle room. It might have at least enough. I need to go get a flashlight to see what's going on up there. All right, so it looks like we're actually lined up and in. So I don't want to do a damn thing besides insert the fractionally impossible fucking top bolts in. Uh, and I'm going to thread lock the fuck out of them because, yes, they're a pain in the ass to get to and I don't ever want them to come loose. Now, me being able to see in here and me being able to get in here are probably two different things. There's one. Feeling froggy tonight. Oh, I think that was supposed to go in there. Bolt that's gonna cause problems. I 
seem to remember these are E12s. Chain has fucking shit all over it, so it's a good candidate too. There we are. Um, hmm. Guess we're gonna have to get our hands dirty because I don't see any other way to get back there. And I need to know what's going on. Where the hell let's have the flashlight that I brought? I brought a flashlight out here and set it down and it's gone. God damn it. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to figure out, there's a little bracket that was wanting to jump in on that. Oh yeah, it's for the transmission dipstick. in here. Not from this side. Motherfucker. Alright, well, it's gonna have to be from the other side, and that's gonna be difficult. well but I'm gonna turn the wheels to make it easier for me to get in this point I'm gonna have to settle for three and fight with that thing later
at that side. So that one's snug. So I'm going to get the other one snug because that basically, those two, um, sleeves do the transmission alignment. So I'm going to wiggle it in case it's not fully aligned, although at this point we have an assembly. So I've successfully installed the engine, but I'm not done. Um, Alright, so I, I still got to figure out a way to get to the other side. good um i'm gonna do the unthinkable and just stick a fucking ratchet back there because i gotta tell you this is the best access i've ever seen to this thing <laughs> of course it doesn't work I have exactly the wrench for this. Like. I don't know where it's at, but I have exactly the wrench for this. It's a very special wrench that is near and dear to me. It is a twist ratchet, so when you twist it, it um, advances. If there was a shittier bolt design, I'm not sure what it would be. It's just really hard to get to. Oh, I can even see the piece of shit. I just can't get to it. Um, let me see if I can drag this whole assembly this way. Seeing as the, they're attached now, I might be able to just... shove this this way and
So I think I have some room to come down a little, and that's what I'm going to do. Not much, but I have a little. And I still can't get in here. I mean, and that's that's ultimately the problem. So I need. I guess I guess I'll just have to do this the way I did it before, with three feet of fucking extensions from the back. but that's exactly how it got done. I think this is enough. So now let's see if I can get in here. It's been a minute since I've been back here with um, the extensions. see how these brown dog mounts are going to fit right but the engine's way the fuck down in here right now so maybe it'll fit later i'm gonna be filthy oh huh i bet we don't need this uh, strap in here anymore. Okay. Now, my memory is that I had to be way the fuck back here to do this. Man, I need a pillow. Exactly what I have to do is I have to be at the back of the goddamn transfer case in order to um, have the, the reach. That's one. Let me go ahead and hit the other one while I'm back here. And I might as well go get the torque wrench and deal with that while I'm back here too. But I'm gonna have to stop and figure out what the torque is because I don't remember it. So I'll be back. All right, it took me a lot of digging to find the fucking spec. And then it dawned on me that the engine block is the same between the automatic and manual transmission. So maybe the spec is in the manual transmission. And sure enough, here's the spec for the upper bolts, 27 foot pounds. And bolt two is the lower bolts and it is 43 foot pounds. 
So there you go. I'm gonna set this to 27 foot pounds and I'm gonna crawl under here and fix this fucking, those upper bolts. I think we all know what a wrench turning a bolt looks like, but you guys might not know the right angle to be at under here in order to do this. So this is where I'm working from. And I'll pull this out. I've got two long, cheap extensions with an E12 or 14 or whatever the fuck bolt it is, or socket. That's it. Huh, that's interesting. Why is there a hook back here? And why is it welded to the, uh, oh, it's a protector for the lower control, or for the rear control arm. That's interesting. Somebody was trying to do some rock crawling in this thing. Hmm, isn't that interesting? We don't have any rocks here. Oh, the control arms are shit back here. And there's actually a little bit of rust on Oh, no, that's grease. Mm -hmm. Oh well, grease doesn't rust. Such a tiny sh drive shaft in the back. It's really surprising. All right, so somebody welded hooks on here to try and protect. Oh, but it's only on that side. Oh, huh, that's fucking weird. I'll fix that. All right, so uh, enough of my mumbling. We're gonna do the front ones. All right, so we're gonna extract this because it served its purpose. And then we're gonna come in here with this. Eh, wrong way. Uh, you know what? It is not the wrong way because I actually want to put thread lock on these. I don't trust them. Alright, so um, let me get some gloves. there's people who probably wouldn't do what I'm doing that's fine don't do it on your Jeep um, but I'm gonna do it on mine <sighs> so I'm gonna Hopefully that's not too terribly harsh um, for you guys at home. Pull this out and put a bunch of thread lock on it and then put it back. So 
So we're like, talk is cheap, thread lock is cheap. And so is your mama. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to the torque wrench. move to the other side and repeat the process. I will uh, have to move that. I really wonder what this is because that's kind of an unusual thing to have welded there. All right, so we're gonna take this bolt out. Say a little prayer. Fucking Jeep, don't you dare. Yeah, at this point with the um, three, the other three bolts in, nothing should move. Um, and that's really what I was talking about. The uh, dowel sleeves take the bulk of the load. Um, the hardest, absolute hardest part of this is behind me. Famous last words. Um, no, put it, lining up the engine to the transmission solo is really one of the hardest things about putting this Jeep back together. I've still got a lot of crap to do, and some of it's gonna be frustrating, but none of it would be quite that frustrating. All right, it's time for a little torquey torque. It's really weird. There are signs that there used to be other things bolted to this tub. So those are torqued in. Flex plate and engine still need to be married. Uh, er, I don't think I'm gonna do that tonight. I really wanna be in a better mood when I do that. Um, Cause that's gonna involve turning the, the flex plate until I find the number one to mate up with the uh, torque converter, which is on number one. Um, The other thing that needs to happen is I need to get up in here and try to wrap. I don't see it happening. I really wanted to rewrap the uh, the wires that are down here so they would be protected. But Jesus Christ, this is this is going to be rough. I mean, the transmission almost has to come out to get to these. Um, and that's just not in the cards today. I'm not taking the fucking transmission out right now. Um, okay, 
so I need to get in there um, and deal with some wires. I don't think I'm gonna do it tonight. I think I'm actually gonna stop for the night. Um, but I'm really, really happy. The engine's attached to transmission. It's inside the frame of the Jeep. It's way fucking low. That's all right. It makes it easy for me to work on. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I do wanna pull it over before I, uh, before I stop for the night, I'm gonna pull the engine over the strap. Um, so we're just gonna find some place inappropriate to attach to. That looks good. someplace else inappropriate to attach to. Nah, that looks good too, because it ain't going nowhere. All right, so what I've done is pulled the engine all the way over. That creates the maximum amount of room for me to get my hands up in between the transmission and the tunnel. I need to rewrap the wires. There's some wires in there that are completely unprotected and that is a recipe for fucking headaches. Um, and uh, anyway, that's all I'm gonna do tonight. Thanks for watching. I hope that this is inspirational if you're working on a Jeep by yourself like me. Uh, I do have friends that would come over but they're not gonna come over Domino's Pizza fast and uh, I kind of work on this when I want to. When the mood hits, I work on it. I've been in the mood for a while. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments.